Hey guys, this is Jason from Astroborn. I'm here with my dad, Jay. I am here with my dad, Joe. This is my dad, Chuck. This is three beers, three dads. Three beers, three dads. Are we filming now? Yeah, well, that's all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. oh, hi. <laughs> this is a 17.2% Imperial India Pale Ale. Are you kids. ready? It's a kid's beer. Kid's beer. <laughs> you ever had an IPA in India Pale Ale before? No. Never have? Don't think so. So you usually drink what? Labatt, Bush Light? Uh, Anything but Miller Light. Oh. That is one of the worst. I'm a Bush Light man. Bush Light? Yep. Well, why is that? Why are you a fan of Bush Light? Uh, just started drinking it one day and it stuck. Because it's cold, it's crisp, it's just crisp. Crisp. Whatever's on sale, usually, <laughs> to be honest with you. Hell yeah. You don't think it tastes like hillbilly pee water? Yes, it does, but... <laughs> Would you like it? Yeah, I just do. I just... I not really like the taste of beer. You don't like the taste of beer? No. So you want works. it like as watery as possible? Yeah. Beer is supposed to taste like beer. This looks like motor oil. Drinkable, nice and cold. See, I, I just see water with a little piss yeah, in it. That's what it looks like, yeah. I like it though. When I was younger, I drank Miller. I had a 04 to 1966, and uh, I left it half of a six pack in the back of the old Ford in the summer, and this guy asked me for a Heineken. I go, I got you a Heineken. And it was Miller Lite that sat out in the sun and <laughs> shit, and he opened it. It was a Heineken, all right. That's how you make Heineken, actually. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's give this a sniff test. It smells like IPA. It smells like an IPA for sure. It's not real strong, though. All right, Dad, cheers. Cheers. Oh, that tastes like straight up booze. That's weird. What do you think of that? Started out good, but the back on it was kind of. It does taste a lot like different, like flavors. Mm, like a sour apple. Sour apple. Something like that. Yeah? Spices for sure. There's different spices in here. Let me try it. Oh yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's all right. He just used that old school. I just like 1975 can of old bass. Bad company blaring on the stereo. Strohs, Blatts, Pabs. You're gonna be sleeping in like a half hour after this. My favorite Chuck Shoulder riff. <laughs> no malt liquor's good. Malt liquor's good? Yeah. But not this? Would you go out and buy one of these? No, sir. If you were at a bar and someone said, hey, next round's on me, I'll get you an IPA. Would you say, not no this. thanks? Not this kind. No? Anyway, no. <laughs> Maybe a different brand. You try a different one? Yeah. But this is the back kind of just. I don't know. Would you drink that again? I wouldn't go out looking for it, <laughs> to be honest. What's your thoughts on buying an $8 can of beer? Yeah, I wouldn't. I could have got a whole 12 pack. <laughs> so you're not, a, you're not a fan of the $8 beers? Not this particular one. I'm with you, Dad. It's really not my favorite kind of beer either, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I wouldn't dump it out. I mean, I'll drink it, but for eight bucks, no. It's not bad. Would you buy that, though? Be honest. No, I wouldn't <laughs> buy it. I wouldn't buy it. No. But it's all right. Um, but this has really got a terrible. Uh, actually, I, I really dislike this, ladies and gentlemen. That's a thumbs down from Papa Cessna. You would, uh, I don't even want to drink it. You don't want to drink it. That's a, that's a poor for you? That's a, on a scale of one to 10, minus one. Mm. That is a bad rating. That's why 
the other beer is so cheap because you can drink a dozen of them. <laughs> All that other shit, they put fucking hops and fucking fruit and shit. I don't know. He said, fuck all that. Flavors. I've had way worse beer than this. It's not that bad. It's just something. It's not right. It's like something that you, it tastes like something that you smelled before. Like what? I don't know. That's what I can't put my finger on. Maybe like a donkey's ass or something. It smells <laughs> it's like a donkey's tasted, ass. It never tastes like donkey's ass, but I smell one. You don't want to though. No. You just chug that? See, that's where I get it from. All the rest of the band's always giving me shit for chugging these beers on our beer reviews. It actually tasted better the last chug. Oh, I don't want any more of that. That's a pour? It's, 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 it's bad. Down, hands down in this. You oh. can't finish it, guys. I'm having a hard time with this one. You're a seasoned professional. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> there. Bottoms up, boys. Yeah. Mm. That wasn't Sweet. that bad. No, the bottom is actually better. I already feel drunk. I don't, I don't feel anything, but we can go on to the next one. In your opinion, what is the what is good music? Good harmonies and good rhythm. If you had to pick good music, what would it be? John Denver, Carpenters. You originally got into Michael Shanker by Oh, Sabbath. Michael Shanker is my favorite. Sticks, Brownsville Station. UFO and Scorpions. Foreigner. Emerson Lake and Palmer, Bob Seeger. 60s, 70s, some 80s. Kansas, Thin Lizzy. But you never got into like Aerosmith and all that kind of stuff? I don't know about that. You like Aerosmith? Yeah, yeah, they're okay. Mm. Fuck Aerosmith. Good clean music. I get it. I see Michael Shanker on a live video, and I never really listened to him much, but I could tell he had that, yeah. he had that quality about him that everybody copied. Right. You don't like any heavy Sad. metal bands? No. Not one? Judas Priest? Nothing? Nothing. Iron Maiden? It just Metallica? Makes, it just makes you angry. Leader Ghost, and I think that's how you oh, say it. Leader Ghost, and fuck. I'm an American. Fuck. It's a German style wheat beer. We got German in our blood. We're all right. Yeah. German style wheat beer brewed with sea salt, coriander, and cherries. He's gonna hate this boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is by Un Ane. I don't even know how you say that. Have you ever had a sour beer? I don't think so. Get a little sniff. It smells like wine. Now this looks like fall. This looks like banana juice. <laughs> he likes it. Holy shit, that's sour. Wow. Ooh. I know you ain't gonna like that. Oh no. That's like a Jolly Rancher. I don't like that. Coming from that IPA, that is gnarly. It's like a sour wine. What do you think? Tastes nothing like beer. Do you like it? No. <laughs> oh yeah. I could drink that all day. Does that taste like a beer to you? No. Not at all. What's it taste like? Fruit juice. Like a fruit juice? Like some orange juice? Like pineapple or orange. <laughs> this is a uh, good palate, Dad, because this is actually a mango tangerine sour. It's pretty good. I got a thumbs up. One to ten, I give it a bottom. An eight. That's a pretty good rating for a bush light drinker. Mm -hmm. You get a little taste of the raspberry and then you get a punch in the mouth <laughs> with the sour. <laughs> I love these. Oh God, that's sour. Do you remember the candy warheads? That's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> I think when you guys were kids, I licked one of your sour heads and it's something like that. Oh, it's, it's just, just, I wouldn't buy this again. It is, so, this is one of the most sour, sour beers I've ever had. Oh my God. How are you doing that? That's weird. Oh, oh. how did you do that? I thought I was good at chugging them. It's not that bad, but. Are you sure you're just because you're old and your taste buds are dead? That could be. 
God. Well, that was terribly. It's sour. definitely worth having one. You didn't even wince. Wince. You didn't even make a face. It's like eating a candy. Wow. It's jolly, man. Like a mount of wow. candy. Wow. <laughs> That's bad. It's not so terribly sour that you. It is very sour. <laughs> it's sour, but. Oh, that was a bad move. Oh, that's tasty. I don't know, but I wish this was a joint. <laughs> so let me ask you that. What, how do you feel about me playing in a heavy metal band? Oh, I think it's awesome. I'm proud of you. Yeah, you think it's yeah. awesome? I, I'm so proud of you. It's all I talk about to all my friends. Everyone, you know. What you think of the new Astroborn CD? Oh, that's good. Does it's... it meet your standards? Hell yeah, it's fast. It's, it's fast. Kick ass. Kick, Kick ass. ass. What do you think of me being in a heavy metal band? You can I'd be really honest. You be in the church choir. <laughs> You're saying I don't have a beautiful voice? I just. What don't you like about it? Lyrics mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Have you read the lyrics? Briefly, and then I stopped because I had <laughs> I had to stop. What do you think of uh, Astro Born's music? Have you checked it out? Yeah, I thought it's great. Love it. What's your favorite song? Well, I like the one that you did before, the Winter's Rap. That was Hammer Horror. That was a different band. Yeah, I know it, but I still like that one. High energy, yeah, yeah. I love it. Good. That's good. I'll put that on, listen to that every day. Punch, punch, punch in the mouth. You hate it. I I don't care for the music, no. Why not? Because it's too, it, it's just not right. <laughs> what does that it's mean? not right. What does not right mean? It's just not, like, it's not normal for a grown man to <laughs> do that. I'm just so proud, you know what? What, what 275 bucks would got me get to give him? He sure made it work. Was that how much my first drum kit cost? You got it. That was a percussion plus. I think I was 14, maybe 13. He bought it off some guy. It was like a, not even a complete set. It was missing all kinds of parts and bolts and nuts and shit. Yeah, yeah. You kind of got ripped off, honestly. I'm, what well, price you paid for that? When I got my first guitar, I remember he said to me, and I never forgot it to this day, now you better be serious about it if I get, because I asked for it for Christmas. He said, you better be serious about it if I do that for you. But then he forgets to tell me to flip it the right way. He didn't tell me that I was holding it backwards. <laughs> and then he did learn how to play it, and I was freaked out. So I then, I, we bought him a fucking Jackson Kelly, and then he went off. That was it. It was a Demu Borgir video with their corpse paint. They were playing on stage, a guy had a Kelly. I'm like, man, I want that guitar. And I went to the shop and they had one, a black one, and I bought it. It was sweet. It's just not right. I don't know what they're playing nowadays. I don't know what you call that, but there's... Give me an auto tuner or whatever it's called now. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yeah, man. So when you think of a stout, what do you think? Guinness stout is. Guinness stout. So we're doing the eulogy in black. That's the astral beer. My dad's first time trying this one. Now, Dad, this is a stout. You, uh, I see you're wearing a Guinness shirt. You got a lot of experience with stouts. There was a. Another stout, I don't remember the name of it, but I almost couldn't finish it. Well, it was like a chocolate, coffee, something. I've had a Guinness before. It's nice, it's it's good, it's heavy. It's, I just like a light beer, that's just the way I've always been. Guinness stout, I'm, I'm a fan of Guinness stout, I like it. Let's give this, this, the, uh, this the old sniffer test. What do you smell? Nothing. You smell nothing? Nothing. This is gonna be like drinking a, a milkshake. What does it, it smell it like? It smells delicious. It smells like coffee and ice cream. <laughs> yeah, it really does. I smell booze. This is 10%. Yeah. Woo. It's gnarly. All right, well, cheers. Let's give it give a little taste. Let's put them back. Cheers. Cheers.
What do you think? It's like, I can definitely taste the chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's too chocolatey. Not bad. What's that taste like? Coffee. Taste some coffee notes? Yep. That's gonna be hard to drink. It doesn't taste like chocolate to you? Is it good? It does taste like chocolate. It tastes a lot like chocolate. You already fit, Jesus. It almost tastes like chocolate mocha. It really does. That is a great description. You're better at this than me. This is bullshit. Like a frappe mocha chocolate. Frappe <laughs> mocha latte? Something like that, I guess. Chocolate mocha. Get you, get you. Get you, I got it. <laughs> I'd, buy, I'd buy a six of it. You'd buy a six of it? How many do you think you could drink before you were uh, passed out? Six. By six o'clock? Yeah. Six by six if I started at four. <laughs> that sounds like a good day. 25 or six to four. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. A Chicago reference. Ooh. It's a riff that I always learned how to do because Jimi Hendrix did, did the that same thing. Fucking riff. It goes something like this. <laughs> Sweet. All right, you ready? No, I'm not slamming this. Are you out of your mind? All right, I'll do it. No. Oh my Christ. How did That's you do sweet. That? How did you do that? It's too sweet. It's like syrup. Yeah, you just chugged maple syrup. <laughs> That's all you did. Mm. All right, slug it for the viewers. Oh, I just got it all over your pants. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Michael Shanker, Chuck Shoulder. Everybody out there leading the Metal Crusade, this is for you. Oh. Cheers. My dad loves beer, and he knows about beer, and he's a better beer drinker than me. I'm gonna switch back to Bud Light. This has been three beers, three dads. Take care, happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. And uh, on behalf of the Cessna family, cheers. Farewell. Stay happy, everybody. <sighs> three beers, three dads.